Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with our darling um, junk journal. Or journal, we don't have to call it a junk journal. Um, and this is uh, darling, it's a digital kit that you can download from Etsy. And it is beautifully designed by Antique papery i always have to pause before i say that name it is absolutely hysterical for me i want to say authentic like the scrapbooking paper um but she this is just absolutely designed um the colors the vibrancy i did no coffee dyeing to these papers <coughs> i want to show that you don't have to coffee dye your papers you don't have to do all of that stuff that maybe you don't want to do. Um, we are inking our pages. Uh, we've created here some tags with some tucks within the tags. Uh, we've created some layers on them. We've created a side tuck for that. We've created a short belly band. Um, that goes across and then you can also actually have a little tuck here as well because of the way but I would strongly suggest just doing this part here um, so what I'm gonna do we've also created our cover this can come off and you can use that paper clip along here I am probably going to also attach some more laces and trims along the side um, and then of course we do have this paper clip here as well um, which will set just off of this side so I'll choose um, once I have something on that's very stable you know like this actually and I'll sit there and have that and then that will just hang off of the side so I do want to make another belly band. I am going to make a couple little tiny tucks um, that are going to come down onto a piece. Um, I do want to make a couple journal cards. We're going to see where we get to. And I would like to use this as well to make another, just a side pocket. Um, using some uh, craft cardstock as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get through a lot of different things um, and we'll see. We'll see where we get to. All right, so let's get started. I definitely want this and I definitely want my, as I'm reaching over, I definitely want my vintage photo. Must have that. And I think I'm going to grab for right now I'm going to grab I'm going to try I always like to give this roller a try, see if I can do it, <laughs> which I can't. But we can always try, right? Right. Just say. All right. So let's ink around these. I'm going to add some book page to the back of these and then what I'll do is so that they can be journaled on oh I like that because again I'll have the writing coming off the side um, we're just going to make sure that there's no bad words because we always know that that's a possibility I'm going to use my glue stick for this And we're gonna get that glued on there. I think this is, I think I'm on part four for the majority of the journals that I had started when it came to 
the digital downloads and the scrapbook paper. And I know I've thrown in a few others. Um, again, just showing that you can, you know, put anything that you want together, um, paper wise or design wise, when it comes to um, your your journal. So now since I have that, I think what I'm going to do, actually, I am just going to glue that right across there. And I am going to test I mean it is pretty strong but you know what I do want to strengthen it up just a little bit and I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna keep on layering I'm going to take some of this off, hopefully, I'll be able to do that. And then it'll just show the different layers. And just by putting this piece down, it's going to give it that strength. And then I'm going to come across with this piece. And then put that across the top. And then that just gave it a little bit more stability to be a journaling type card. So again, you just have that little bit of, of difference going on there, which is, which is fun. And now we're going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to pull and see I can straighten that out. I was just about to ink with my glue stick. Wow. Oh my. And we have that and I think for this one and again I'm just looking for you know like this here it can block up because of the clear or the clean space it's creating that area for your recipient to write on, whether it's a quote, whether it's a um, saying, whether it's a poem, you know, they have that ability to, to put that down. Now, again, I'm always looking to make sure that there's no, 
no words that should not be seen. Um, but again, I, I please don't hold me to it because I can't help it. You know, it is what it is. And I think I'm going to put this here. Jeez. I think that's perfect. And again, these are just being added to give it a little bit of thickness. So it'll have some stability. But, you know, again, some interest. They'll be able to journal in here. Again, making sure. And then we have that. So that one's done. So, okay, just something different. You know, not the norm. In any way, shape, or form. Not the norm. All right. Now, I am going to grab some craft card stock. And my very large hole punch. And I want to cut two out. This is two and a quarter. So yes, very large. And you can see they are perfect because these are two inches. I'm just going to go around these edges. And same thing with these. Where am I at? Okay, I'm only 12 minutes in. Maybe this will be just a little bit shorter video. Probably not. I do like to gab. My videos are long. Forgot to say that in the beginning. <laughs> I think it's going to become my motto. I do like to gab. But at least I'm gabbing about what we're making to make sure that you un you know what I'm what I'm showing cuz sometimes I explain things very differently very oddly. And I just want to make sure that you understand, that you, that you have, that I'm making sense, basically. I'm going to make this just a little bit darker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my book back in because I kind of need that. And I'm going to decide where I want to put this. I think I actually want it here. Let's see. So I've got that there. I actually want to go on this side. I do want to go on this side. But tell you what, I'm going to come down to this one. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And what I want to do is I want this to be like a, a corner type thing. So I'm going to have that go like that. Now I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to carefully leave that there because I need my liquid glue for this. I do want that to extend off my pages. 
and I'm going to real quick squirt some glue down. All right, so now I've got that together. And then you can see, like, I'll be able to have something, like, I could even make this even here. And then when I close the book, that would be sticking out. So it's just something a little bit more interesting that can happen, you know, in, in your book. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue down here. And I'm going to put some glue down here. And then I'm going to put some glue here. And I'm just going to hold that in place. Now, there's a couple things that you would be able... i oh, got to clean that off that you would be able to do. So, you can see that I can have something, depending upon its thickness, come out like that. So it's kind of like a corner belly band. But again, you're just looking to put something there and it will hold. Um, so like this journal card that I just made, I would be able to put that right there and it will hold. It won't go anywhere. So this is like a different style of tuck that we've just created. And let's see. You know what? While I have my book out, I do... I really love this. I think this is so cool and unique. Now I'm going to carefully ink around this so that I do not rip it. Now what I could do, now that would be cool. Now what I could do too is actually thread it through here because I have that little bit that's coming over and I'm afraid that yes I like that okay so we're gonna lay that down yeah I'm dangerous with my journals can you tell and I'm gonna put a very thin layer but a complete layer of our glitter glue so that it lays flat and then we're going to close this down and then the same thing so I'm going to open her up and I'm putting a very thin very thin amount of art glitter glue, but I am making sure I'm going up to the edges because I really want the edges to be down, but I am hardly squeezing on this bottle. And now I will fill in the center very lightly. And I'm going to pick her up. and drop it. <laughs> and I think I had that perfectly positioned. I just have to trim the most minuscule part off this bottom cover. There we go.
I like that. I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, I am going to put this aside for right now. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut one more hole. And I'm going to ink this up. And I'm just going to get this in place. And what I mean by that is I want that to match up. And I'm just going to put that there. Gives it a little bit more strength. Gives it a little bit more stability. But again, it gives that different look as you're paging through. Okay. So, I am going to make... A large belly band. I'm going to fold this. So this is a, a book page that is extra from when um, I'm doing my altered journals because you tear out a lot of pages from a book. So I keep them and I either make pockets or belly bands out of them. I do all kinds of different things with them. So here, I am going to do a belly band. And it's just in the different way in which I fold the papers, um, whether they have a torn edge or whether they don't. All right, now what I'm gonna do, put a thin bead of glue. And I am going to Set that down. And I'm going to make sure that I'm covering up the work. I'm going to make sure that the glue holds <laughs> so that when I fold this over, it stays. Here I'm just putting my crease in. I just want this to go around the edge. Where are we at? Okay. We're just coming up to a half hour. All right, now I'm going to come in here just strengthen that down so now I have that smooth edge that's going along here and of course this is going to glue together which I'm okay but I really do want to ink the edges of all the papers and even when they're unfolded so I want each layer to have that edginess to it. So I'm going to pull this last one back and then get this on there. And now the last one. I need to make sure it's going in there. And now, I am going to put glue, 
because I do want this all to be glued down. I don't want it to lift. I want it to be a flat belly band. So you need a special fandom. And I dropped it. These are my deckled. I do I am so, so patiently waiting for the decal trimmer to come out. <laughs> really, really, really want that thing to come out. Okay. It's flat. So again, just something a little different. So now I know I have the one, this one here, the shorter one on this side. So now I do want to make sure that I put it on this side. And I do want it to come up off the top and the bottom. All right, I am going to take a little bit off on that. Perfect. I'm gonna make some pencil marks here. Now I'll put my glue and hopefully my pencil marks won't show. But if they do, it's all good. And there's our belly band. So again, just using the papers that come in the digital kit and some extra solid cardstock. Oh God, I think I, okay. Um, to, to just add to it um, and just add a little bit extra into it. But let the pattern paper be the main function like this is going to make a beautiful tag um, absolutely gorgeous but I'm gonna pull in some card stocks just solid card stocks that are this color that are just gonna help to pop that off again just using what we have um, when it comes to that and again you can even get solid card stocks to to download as well so we created our special tuck where it's kind of just a little bit different but it's nice and tight we'll hold a nice journaling card in there because we created these two journaling cards so i can put one of them in here that'll fit very nicely we have our tag there we have we don't know what we're going to put here yet but it's just going to be decoration we created our belly band now this is a larger belly band but this would certainly stay in you just want to put it towards the bottom and then up here we have our shorter um, belly band which is where i will set that we have our charm coming from that and then we have an envelope that came in the kit as well so that's where we're at so far we do have our cover and the back done that is definite 
uh, when it comes to this. But we just have a few more uh, pockets and tucks to make. I uh, want to add some more lace to some of the pages, um, to the edges, just to give that some interest as well. So we'll probably have one, maybe two more episodes after this. Again, I believe this is episode four, I think. Um, it'll say it. <laughs> and again, this is using the Darling uh, Digital Download by Antique Papery. Um, beautiful, beautiful designs. Very difficult to choose just one. Um, again, no coffee dyeing, just using the color, the paper straight on, and I printed it on regular copy paper. Um, no fancy paper, didn't use a photo print paper, didn't use a thicker cardstock, just the run of the mill copy paper. That's like 20 pounds. Um, and you can see just how vibrant it does print out. My printer is a HP 8720 4 in 1. Um, I know I get a lot of questions on that as well. So till I see you next time, the link to this digital download and her shop will be down into the video description below this video as it's airing. If you have any questions, leave those down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe, be part of my group, and make sure you ring the bell so that you know what video is up next ready for you to watch. I hope everyone is still enjoying their day, and I truly say thank you to be watching this video as part of your day. I'm truly very thankful and grateful. Continue to stay safe and healthy, and always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative, guys. Till next time.